Hey everyone, Matthew Monis here. I'm at WWDC. This is 2022. Tons of iOS, iPad, and software announcements today, but I want to talk about the MacBook Air with new M2 and the MacBook Pro 13. I'll quickly go over the MacBook Pro 13. It wasn't really a design change. It's still literally the same MacBook Pro 13 chassis as last time, but the big deal this year, it gets upgraded with the M2. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the M1, the M2 uses the same amount of cores. It's still using a five nanometer processing node, but there's a bunch of new features to it to increase the actual performance. I suspect we'll see faster single core clock speeds and faster multi-core speeds because they're pushing the processor harder. But this year you get more GPU cores. There's two extra GPU cores and they're saying there's about 25% more performance around that compared to the other one, depending on the application you're using. Now this is not going to be a big upgrade if you're coming from the M1, but if you're looking or coming from an older MacBook, it's going to be a pretty big deal. Now the new MacBook Air is using the same sort of design philosophy has the MacBook Pro 14 and 16. So it has the rubber feet on the bottom. It has the same sort of rounded out edges. It doesn't have that kind of like sledge form factor like the previous one. If you've seen the 14 or 16, you'll have a very good idea of what the uh, MacBook Air 13 is gonna look like. It's thinner at 11.3 millimeters, which is about half an inch, and it's about 2.7 pounds. So like this is the go-to laptop for like students or anybody that just wants something super light to carry. Now, there's not a lot of ports, very similar to the previous one. They're just sticking with two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the left-hand side, but we do get the brand new MagSafe connector. But then on the right side, you have your audio jack. I was hoping for more ports, but that's being saved for the MacBook Pro 14 and 16. Keyboard layout, very identical as well. You have that black keyboard keys with the color of the deck on top. And I think it looks super classy. Touch ID on the top right. And then of course you have your upward firing speakers, which there's about four now. There's about three mic air rays to help with picking up your voice, obviously background noise rejection. And the display has been bumped up to 13.6 inches, which is slightly bigger than the previous one. So you'll get a little bit more screen real estate, but the reason they did that was to incorporate the notch at the top to include the higher megapixel camera, which is now 1080p. It's gonna support the same features you saw on the M1 iPad Air with uh, uh, center stage movement. So whenever you move around, the camera's gonna kind of follow you as well. Plus obviously having more megapixels and Apple using their neural engine and all their algorithms is gonna make you look better when you're actually on camera. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but there's also a new continuity feature that allows you to use your iPhone at the back of the MacBook Air or any MacBook rather to, to be used as a better camera. And it just works by using the detect system that Apple has incorporated into their software. Besides that, you're looking at a laptop that I think a lot of students are gonna appreciate it is going to be coming out for about $1199, so it is a bit more expensive than the current MacBook Air that's on the market right now, but that's also dropping down to $999. So if you have like someone who's getting their first computer, uh, M1 is still very underrated. I still think it's one of the, the better processes you can get in a laptop today. But if you want the best of the best for a MacBook Air, then obviously you're gonna be buying the M2 and you're gonna have to spend a couple hundred dollars more unless you have an educational discount, then you can get about a hundred bucks off. Anyways, if you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comment section down below. At some point I will be getting my hands on it. So I do plan on reviewing it. I'm gonna be putting this thing against other laptops. I think they actually compared it to a Galaxy book on one of the charts. So I wanna see what that's all about. But yeah, drop the questions down below, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.